I'm here at day one of the NASCAR Chicago Street Weights where Shane Van Gisbergen has won once again, this time in the Xfinity Series. Here's your recap of day one of the Chicago Street Race. It was a perfect summer afternoon for racing after thunderstorms cut both races short last year, and there wasn't a puddle in sight as number 97, Shane Van Gisbergen, won the Loop 110. Van Gisbergen is no stranger to the stage here in Chicago. He won the inaugural Cup Series race last year, and now he's won the Xfinity Series race as well. He's already completed the Chicago collection. Like last year, Van Gisbergen's win was not easy. He battled veteran driver and current Cup Series leader Kyle Larson for all 50 laps. Van Gisbergen trailed with only three laps to go, but once the green flag flew, SVG made moves. That's why the New Zealander is considered one of the best street racers in the world. He now leads the Xfinity Series with 17 points and three wins this season. Larson finished in third and Ty Gibbs took second. Additionally, Jesse Love led for 14 laps, tying Van Gisbergen for the most on the day. Next up for the Xfinity Series is the Pocono 225 at Pocono Raceway in Pennsylvania next Saturday at 2 p.m. Central. The races weren't the only things fans had the chance to enjoy today. They also had the opportunity to experience the NASCAR Village. The NASCAR experience in Grant Park featured plenty of food and entertainment options for fans, all built around Buckingham Fountain. The festival stage area featured a freestyle motocross show featuring athletes from the X Games and concerts after the race including Buddy Guy, the Black Keys, and the Chainsmokers. We just checked out the shops, we got some Lou Malnati's pizza. There was also no shortage of NASCAR merchandise available in the village, and it turns the street race into an all-day experience. NASCAR Media reported that for roughly half of all attendees on Saturday, this was their first ever NASCAR event. The Village is a great way for fans to experience NASCAR for the first time. I love the street race because it's so different from versus just watching go round and round. So yes, I love the street race. That does it for day one of RSL's coverage of the NASCAR Chicago Street Race. Make sure to tune into our coverage on Sunday as well with the Grant Park 165 beginning at 3.30 p.m. For Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Nate Keogh.